The month of April is quickly wrapping up, which means one thing. Guess what? It's going to be May. And you know, I never really understood that. Like, Timberlake with his little ramen noodle hair. Like, why wasn't J.C. Chazé the breakout star of NSYNC? But I digress. I'll save that for my 90s boy band podcast that I will be starting at some point in time. But yes, folks, May is right around the corner, and that means one thing. New Nintendo Switch games will be coming out onto the Nintendo Switch. And April was a very heavy month for the Nintendo Switch, and you're probably reeling from it. You're probably hoping for a light month with the month of May, but no, it's it's not really light. Your wallet will be destroyed once again. Again in the month of May. So what is coming to the Nintendo Switch in the month of May? What game should you have on your radar and what game should you be looking out for? That's why I'm here to tell you guys just that. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the best upcoming games for the Nintendo Switch in the month of May. Hey, RGT85. Hey, Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards! Kicking things off, on May 2nd, we have Venture Kid coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, are you a Mega Man fan? Then you'll probably like Venture Man. Wait, I mean Venture Kid. Venture Kid is pretty much an homage to the NES classic games in the Mega Man franchise, featuring an evil doctor that you must take down. You go through a variety of levels, getting different power-ups that you can use and on other levels in the game. The gameplay is pretty much Mega Man through and through, with challenging platforming, bosses, and hidden areas to find. The game uses an 8-bit art style, which of course is true to the original Mega Man series, and the Nintendo Switch version of this game features two exclusive modes, a boss rush mode and a survival mode. Now honestly, I'm not the biggest Mega Man fan in the world, but pretty much every FDG Entertainment published game is a winner in my opinion, so more than likely Venture Kid will be yet another great addition to the Nintendo Switch when it hits the system on May 2nd. Do you like doing hood rat stuff with your friends? Well, Saints Row the Third is coming to the Nintendo Switch on May 10th. For some bizarre reason, Grand Theft Auto V hasn't ended up on the Nintendo Switch yet, but Saints Row the Third looks to fill that open world void when it hits the Nintendo Switch on May 10th. While the first two Saints Row games tried to be serious GTA style clones, Saints Row the Third went batshit crazy and decided to just have fun with the genre, being over the top and pretty ridiculous. You customize your character and hit the streets solo, or for the first time with a friend in local multiplayer and even online multiplayer, which once again should lead to some pretty crazy situations. There's huge explosions, insane weapons, and lots of sex and drugs, making this one of the most mature Switch rated titles to date, but as someone who enjoys open world chaos, I think this game will be right up my alley. The Nintendo Switch version of the game includes most of the DLC from the previous versions as well, which is a huge plus. The last Saints Row game I played was actually the second one in the series, and I felt it tried to be too serious, so Saints Row the Third is probably my most anticipated game for the month of May on the Nintendo Switch, and honestly, May 10th can't get here soon enough. Do you like guns? Do you like sniping? Then Sniper Elite 2 version 2 Remastered on May 14th should be a game on your watch list. The Sniper Elite series has always been a bit underrated in my opinion, and Sniper Elite 2 is getting another chance to shine, this time on the Nintendo Switch when it hits on May 14th. The series has always been known for pretty realistic physics, having to take into account things like distance, wind, and weather, and much more when you're taking your shot. Of course, there are easier modes in the game to use if you choose to do such. Sniper Elite 2 Remastered features all new textures to bring the game into a more modern era, right down to the brutal sniping headshots that are, well, pretty damn awesome and honestly a staple for the series. The Nintendo Switch version of the game features support for motion controls as well. Sniper Elite 2 Remastered also has some local and online multiplayer options to give the game some additional depth. You might have never played a Sniper Elite game before, but if you enjoy the trailer, you'll probably enjoy this game when it comes on May 14th. On May 16th, arguably one of the biggest games ever comes in the Nintendo Switch with Bubsy Paws on Fire! What could possibly go wrong? Go to hell, Bubsy. We're not talking about you. Also coming to us on May 16th is definitely a highly anticipated title for me, and that is the Castlevania Collection. Now, the Castlevania Collection features eight classic Castlevania games, including Kid Dracula, and I've actually been informed that this is the Famicom version of the game, not the Game Boy version of the game like I thought it was, so that's a big plus in my opinion. I really enjoyed Kid Dracula on the Famicom, and it's a game that many people are not familiar with. Of course, you have classics in the series like Castlevania 3, Super Castlevania 4, and Castlevania Bloodline, and even the Game Boy 
Boy games make an appearance on this compilation. There's going to be some additional stuff in it as well, such as bonus features, additional artwork, stories behind the games, so I'm really looking forward to the Castlevania collection when it comes on May 16th. I love the old school Castlevania games, and to have these portably on the go on my Nintendo Switch just seems like a big win in my opinion. On May 20th, we have a trio of games releasing for the Nintendo Switch that's honestly been getting a bit of controversy due to the pricing structure and the physical release of the game. Now, these three games are, of course, Resident Evil Zero Remastered, Resident Evil Remastered, and Resident Evil 4. Now, these three games are admittedly timeless classics. They are games that I absolutely love, but the pricing of these games has turned a lot of people off. These games will be releasing for $30 a piece when they released for $20 a piece on other platforms. And then the physical version of the game that supposedly includes Resident Evil 0 and the original Resident Evil actually only includes Resident Evil 0 on the cartridge, you still have to download Resident Evil onto your Nintendo Switch and that retails for $60. So a lot of people are a bit upset by this and I can definitely understand why. However, I absolutely love these three games. Resident Evil 0, of course, really started the story of what happened before the original Resident Evil game. Resident Evil Remastered is just a fantastic game and if you're more into action-based games, Resident Evil 4 really took this franchise in a different direction that really sort of was the catalyst for what the Resident Evil franchise is known for today. These three games are absolutely awesome. Admittedly, I will probably be buying all three of them just to check them out so you guys can get a taste of what they look like, but I am definitely a bit upset with the pricing structure of this because it really feels like Capcom is trying to take advantage of Nintendo Switch owners. However, these three games do release on May 20th, and I'm sure a lot of us are probably going to buy them. Sonic Racing games are always pretty fun, so admittedly, I am looking forward to Team Sonic Racing when it drops on the Nintendo Switch on May 21st. The main feature about this game is, of course, in the title of the game. It's Team Sonic Racing. You have various teammates that you are trying to help win with and help during their actual races, which should make it a bit more unique than a standard Mario Kart clone. The game has a bunch of offline and online modes to it as well, so you should be able to do some fun stuff with that. Unlike other Sonic Racing games, this game only features characters from the Sonic the Hedgehog universe instead of the Sega universe, which admittedly is a bit disappointing for me personally, but I think fans of the Sonic franchise will probably enjoy that a little bit more. I think the game looks really clean and seems to be a fast-paced racer, and while it won't knock Mario Kart off the kart racing throne, it should be a good complimentary game when it drops on the Nintendo Switch on May 21st. Recently released on other platforms, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered drops on the Nintendo Switch on May 21st as well. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered puts you back into 1775 as an assassin named Connor taking place during the American Revolution. The Nintendo Switch version of the game has Switch specific features, such as motion control aiming and a touchscreen interface. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered also includes all of the DLC from the previous game, which actually features different locations to visit and a whole new storyline. If you've played Assassin's Creed 3 to death, there's probably not much reason to check this out, but as someone who's never played the third game in the series, I'm kind of looking forward to checking it out when it comes onto the Nintendo Switch on May 21st. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization Deluxe Edition comes to the Nintendo Switch on May 24th, and I'm going to be honest, I don't really know anything about this game, and I probably won't buy it, but I did want to include it on this list because, I don't know, I feel like people might have complained if I didn't. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization Deluxe Edition is an RPG with multiplayer elements based on the Sword Art Online Japanese series that seems to be pretty popular. Since I know nothing about this series or franchise, I'm not really going to talk about it, so just consider this a reminder that it will be coming to the Nintendo Switch on May 24th. Nicolas is one of my favorite publishers on the Nintendo Switch because their physical games usually have some awesome goodies and instruction manuals, and Crystal Crisis is going to be another must-own game for me when it drops on the Nintendo Switch on May 28th. Fans of games like Super Puzzle Fighter 2 should feel right at home with Crystal Crisis, which is pretty much a modern version of that sort of game. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighter, but instead of doing fighting moves, you are matching crystals in a puzzle game. The game features various characters from other Nicolas published games like The Binding of Isaac and Cave Story, so there will be some familiar faces to see. I really like the look of this game, and there's a ton of different modes to check out including Story and Online Versus mode. Crystal Crisis, I think, is going to be a sleeper hit on the Nintendo Switch, and is honestly a great way to wrap up the month of May when it drops on May 30th. 
All right, so those are the best upcoming games for the month of May for the Nintendo Switch. A pretty good variety of stuff. Yes, there are a lot of ports that are coming to the Nintendo Switch, but I feel like a lot of these games people haven't really experienced, and a game like Saints Row the Third will probably stand out a bit as being one of the first open world games on the Nintendo Switch, aside from LEGO City Undercover, and I think the portability aspect will really help that game get a chance to shine. So let me know in the comments section down below what you think of these games. What games do you plan on picking up? And of course, what games I might have missed? I know last month, we didn't even talk Talk about Labo VR because I just completely forgot it was going to come out and I ended up enjoying it. So there are some games that slip through the cracks. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel. Have a happy Easter if you're watching this before Easter. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.